education is the key to a bright future. Empower me first. Welcome to this lesson on multiplication and division of thirds. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to understand the principles behind the multiplication and division of thirds, understand the rationalization of thirds in division. Now, we're going to start off with the multiplication of thirds. Now, multiplication of thirds follows three principles. The first being, the figures inside a root multiply each other. That's principle number one. Principle number two, the figures outside a root multiply each other. And the third principle is the figure outside the root cannot directly impact the figure under the root. It might sound a little bit difficult now, but let us get into the next step so that you understand what we are talking about. So let's take a look at our first example. We have root of 3 over uh, multiplied by the root of 2. So as you can see from both these numbers that they are inside the root. And so according to the first principle, these numbers multiply each other. And so in this case, we're going to have 3 times 2, which will give us root of 6 as our final answer. All right, let's make it a little bit more advanced. In this problem, we have the root of 2, 3 by the root of 2 multiplied by 4 by the root of 5. So in this case, we have numbers in a root sign and we have other numbers that are outside of the root sign. You can pause the video and think on how you can solve this. Let's hope you try to figure out how you can solve it. We can therefore look together and check whether you were on point on how to go about solving this. So we do have our problem, which is 3 by the root of 2 multiplied by 4 by the root of 5. So in principle, the numbers outside the square uh, root signs multiply each other. So in this case, the 3 will multiply the 4. And the 2 here will multiply the 5. That is the principle. So the most simplified way of putting it could be 3 by 4 multiplied by root of 2 by the root of 5. So this will give us 12. Remember 3 by 4 is equal to 12. And then the numbers inside the roots 2 and 5 multiply each other to give us the root of 10. Hope you are getting the hang of this. Let's now look further at the division of thirds. When you are dividing thirds, multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So this process is called the rationalization of the denominator. 
let's go in it a little bit further so that you can understand we have 2 divided by the root of 3 now to rationalize this we will have to divide both to multiply both the 2 which is the numerator and the root of 3 which is the denominator by the root of 3 which is the denominator so which gives us something like this so in this case we will have 2 times root of 3 over root of 3 times the root of 3 and we have already gone through the multiplication in this case because the number outside the root sign cannot multiply the number inside the root sign so it will give us 2 root of 3 and then we have the numbers inside the root signs multiplying each other they give us the root of 9 this can further be simplified because 9 has a perfect square root so in this case we have 2 root of 3 divided by 3 because the square root of 9 is 3 we hope you understood that one in this case suppose you have 2 divided by the root of 5 pause the video and try to solve this problem if you attempted this problem you would then find out that you had to first rationalize by multiplying both by the denominator so in this case we had 2 multiplied by the root of 5 and then we also had 5 multiplied by uh, um, the root of 5 multiplied by the root of 5 so in the end we had 2 by the root of 5 divided by the root of 25 and also 25 has a perfect square root which then leads us to 2 root of 5 divided by 5 this is your final answer now you can try this one which appears a little bit harder 4 plus the root of 3 divided by 2 minus the root of 3 good luck